DBS is FDA approved for tremor, Parkinson's disease, and epilepsy, and has a humanitarian device exemption for dystonia and obsessive compulsive disorder. Over 160,000 people worldwide have had deep brain stimulation electrodes implanted. My name is Dr. Michael Fox. I'm a physician at Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'm a movement disorder specialist uh, and a Parkinson's specialist, but in particular, I focus on brain stimulation therapies. And this is understanding Parkinson's disease and deep brain stimulation. Parkinson's is a, a degenerative disease of the brain and the nervous system uh, that primarily affects movement, uh, causing symptoms like stiffness and tremor. Um, but it is a brain disease and can have other symptoms. All symptoms of Parkinson's disease are progressive, which means they slowly get worse over time. Motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease include tremor uh, or shaking, usually begins in a, in a limb, often in the hand or fingers. Uh, you may rub your finger and thumb together, back and forth, known as a pill rolling tremor. Your hand may tremble when it's at rest. Other symptoms include slow movement or, or bradykinesia, rigid muscles, impaired posture and balance, loss of automatic movements, speech changes, and writing changes. Although Parkinson's disease is classically a disease of the motor system, and most of the primary symptoms of Parkinson's disease are motor symptoms, almost all patients will also experience non-motor symptoms. These non-motor features include thinking difficulty, uh, depression and emotional changes, swallowing problems, chewing and eating problems, sleep disorders, bladder issues, and constipation. You may also experience blood pressure changes, smell dysfunction, fatigue, pain, or sexual dysfunction. The primary treatment for Parkinson's disease is medication. Most medications for Parkinson's are designed to replace a neurotransmitter called dopamine. Um, that's something that's lost in Parkinson's disease. It can help a lot of the motor symptoms, things like stiffness or slow walking. Um, a lot of patients, it does help their tremor. However, there are symptoms of Parkinson's disease that don't respond well to medication or patients that have symptoms that respond poorly to medication. I've had patients where I've tried six different medications, none of which has improved tremor at all in that particular patient. Uh, they develop motor fluctuations, these ups and downs um, or dyskinesias. And a lot of these symptoms are very difficult to treat with extra medication. Some patients will even develop a sudden wearing off where the motor fluctuation becomes unpredictable. And they could be out at a mall and suddenly their medication wears off and they feel stuck. Many patients uh, will develop uh, medication refractory symptoms or side effects of medication that require us to think about other treatments for Parkinson's. And in those patients, we sometimes consider a treatment called deep brain stimulation. Uh, deep brain stimulation is a surgical intervention uh, where a neurosurgeon will actually implant deep brain stimulation electrodes in the brain, targeting a specific brain circuit that is involved in many of the symptoms of Parkinson's disease. You can think of it as a pacemaker for the brain. Uh, these deep brain stimulation electrodes uh, allow us to directly intervene on the brain circuits that are responsible for Parkinson's symptoms. Deep brain stimulation allows us to treat symptoms in a way that we cannot treat with medication. On average, we can see a 60 to 70% improvement in medication refractory tremor by sticking DBS electrodes in the tremor circuit. Uh, we can also help symptoms like motor fluctuations. Rather than experiencing these big ups and downs all day long, uh, the deep brain stimulation helps patients feel on for a longer period of time. You can think of the brain as, as not that dissimilar from an electrical system in a house. Um, if you blow a circuit with a hair dryer, you overload just one circuit in the house and the lights might go off in the bathroom, but the lights in your kitchen might be fine because it's a different electrical circuit. And so in that case, the symptom is the lights went off in your bathroom. Well, you have to localize that symptom to a brain circuit and then fix that circuit to get the lights to go back on again. Um, but it doesn't affect the lights in your kitchen. That's a different electrical circuit. The brain works the same way. It's important to emphasize that uh, deep brain stimulation is not a one and done procedure. Uh, deep brain stimulation is a process. That process starts with an evaluation. Who's a good candidate for DBS? Do you have the types of symptoms that DBS is good at treating? You need to meet the neurologist, the surgeon. We usually do neuropsychological testing to understand if you have memory trouble or depression trouble. 
Um, oftentimes patients will come in off their medication and take their medication in front of the doctor so we can understand exactly what symptoms get better with medication and what symptoms do not. Once we decide that deep brain stimulation is the right treatment for you and is likely to help the symptoms that bother you the most, then you proceed to the surgery. Um, and the surgery can either be one day where they do everything at the same time or it can be spread across multiple days. Um, but after you recover from the surgery, and that takes a month to a month and a half for your brain to fully heal, that's when you come in for the deep brain stimulation programming. Um, now there's multiple different spots on each one of these electrodes that we can activate. So we can deliver the current a little bit higher on the electrode, a little bit lower on the electrode. Um, many electrodes we can actually shoot the current in a specific direction. And this allows us to deliver the electrical energy to slightly different spots in the brain and slightly different circuits. And there's a process where we have to identify what's the spot that we stimulate in you that's going to best help your symptoms but not cause any side effects. And there becomes a tuning process where you have to try a setting, see if it helps the symptoms, see if it causes side effects. If it does, you might have to try a slightly different setting. And so this is an iterative process of what we call deep brain stimulation programming um, that plays out for three to four months after the DBS electrodes have been implanted. I work together with the patient and with their referring neurologist to figure out whether deep brain stimulation is an appropriate intervention. And we don't always agree that it is. Um, oftentimes I do see patients, um, especially patients where balance and um, walking is the ma major problem. Uh, patients can develop a symptom called freezing of gait where they try to take a step and their foot just doesn't move forward like it's supposed to. And that can lead to a lot of falls. It's a very disabling symptom of Parkinson's disease that unfortunately DBS is not particularly good at treating. Um, so oftentimes we'll see patients where the number one thing that bothers them is something that DBS is not going to fix. And then we have to think very carefully about whether this is an intervention that's right for them. Our estimate is that only one out of three patients with Parkinson's disease that could benefit from DBS are ever referred for DBS. And so this is a treatment option that I want more patients and more providers to be aware of um, so they can consider it um, in the arsenal of, of treatments that we have to combat Parkinson's disease symptoms.